wonder if that does anything. Hold on, I want to try something. I want to say welcome to the Outlander Show. This is a week 17, 16? 16. I think it's 16. Here we go. And your leader in rushing touchdowns. It's the Riverhawks. Now let's talk about that. Thank you to Trey Mosley for the introduction. We are indeed excited to welcome you to another edition of the NFL. And a very Merry Christmas to you and yours on this special day. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, Merry Christmas, man. Merry Christmas to you, buddy. And I know both of us kind of feel the same way. If you're not going to be home with your family, celebrating with the ones you love, this is a pretty good second place. I think when you find out you're going to be not only calling or playing the only game in town, national holiday, everyone's home with their families watching you, in our case, listening to us, it's a pretty special honor, and I'm happy to be here alongside you, partner. So the visitors ready to go on offense here for the first time. They'll be let out by the quarterback now in his fourth NFL campaign. Last week's performance, Mike, probably when you go back and look at it, the thing that stands out the most is just a little bit too inconsistent for their liking. I mean, he found a way to ultimately lead his team to a victory, and that's the biggest thing. But with that said, he has to do a better job of keeping the ball from getting into the wrong hands. He got too careless at times, and they made him pay for it. If he does that here today, he might not get so lucky. He'll stay on the ground. Not much happening there, just a short game. There you get a look at his numbers on the ground a week ago as a part of their victory. Ready up. Here's second and nine. Hey. He'll drop to throw. That is taken in by the veteran Mike Evans. They'll empty out the backfield, line up for third and three. Now they'll set up to throw. 18 yards on the connection. And that will be a first down. Here we go, set. Back to throw. They'll try to set up the screen here. Stride. Oh, God. Sorry, sorry, wrong button. Sorry, I can't see that button. Touchdown. And that is the way to start a game. Not just score, but, Greg, score quickly. A nice opening drive for the first six points. Well, it seems, Mike, the hour spent on that opening game script was time well spent. I mean, to take the ball right down the field that quickly, right out of the gates, that's a pretty good opening drive and an early six points. Harrison Butker now for the extra point. He's got it. And the River Hogs will take a 7 nothing lead. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Steeler offense ready to take the field for the first time. They'll be let out by the man from Ohio State, six foot three, Justin go. Fields. Off the play action, here's Fields. That is caught downfield by Pickens. If Major P would have jumped, he would have had that. But he, Bronco Touchdown. Country, let's ride. I even strafed and Look at that, Bronco Country. Man, right there. Let's ride. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drop. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down 
All right, so that did not go as planned. And we're not happening again. You're gonna come live with me. Oh, oh, oh. Raheem. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. His drive will start on the ground. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. And a nice pick up there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, his offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Make sure to also go check out our friends at Spotify, Mr. Liam and Mr. Kyle, as they take on local pro wrestling. Check them out, Spotify, Turnbuckle Tapes. Right. Gonna go to the bar. There it is. Oh, oh, oh. Four to one. Oh, yeah, no. Push that guy. Honey? No. Okay, 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 okay. Let's, okay. Are we going for... You can go for it. You call it, but I oh, think now he passes. wants me to call. He tell he says, so, oh, I'm down man. to pass it. That's almost a guarantee. All right, let's do it. But because I think he's gonna kind of hard on the blitz. Okay, yeah, they think they're gonna blitz. Right. Ready? Oh my gosh! If it would have got blocked by his right. hand, <laughs> that would have. We need to let the clock run. Or? Yeah, we don't let that clock run down. Get, get us into the second. With this time, make sure to check out our sponsors, uh, Panda Supplements at pandasupplements.com. I wish it was like a cat so I could be like, Rawr! afterwards. Um, use promo code Outlander85 or pumped and get 15% off. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Peter, I need a cheeseburger and some pickles. I'm going to put that on the freaking thumbnail. Just cheeseburgers and pickles. I think that will be every fucking thing I do now. Here we go, here we go. Throwing now on first and ten. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time. And it'll set up second down. A handoff as they try to run it here. And a good run there on second down. A pickup of seven. It'll bring up third and three. He'll look to throw. That's caught. It's Evans. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. They'll look to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. What can they do here on third down and seven? Blitz coming. He'll throw it. Open man right side. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Mike Evans. Touchdown, River Hogs. 17 touchdowns now on the year. You know, there's so many key factors that allow a play like this, Mike, to have so much success. And, of course, like anything, it starts with the quarterback being accurate. It's such a big part of NFL football right now is the run after the catch. But the accuracy of the ball allows the receiver to turn into a runner after securing the catch. So great job there by the quarterback. And then sometimes it's just a foot race to the pylon and speed kills. And wide receiver gets the ball, secures it, and he does the rest. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. And a 
he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. George Pickens and the Steelers offense heading back on to the field. First and 10. Here we go. Go. From the shotgun, it's Fields. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended receiver. It's second down. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw go. out there that wouldn't ah. make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good game, brings up third down. Here we go, sir. Here's a third down and four. Right. Now, Fields. He's got his man complete to Wilson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. They'll try again here, second and ten. Here we go, we're good. Right. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. Off he goes. A oh, strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. Here we go. Right. And Fields now to throw on first down. Now a screen set up for Harris. And he's in. I tried so hard. <laughs> I got. You don't need stick anymore. I'm sorry. Man, let's see this. Let's see this big ass whiff. And oh, then I think I don't show it. They did. The entire possession worked to perfection. You can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns. Man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. We are all square, 14 apiece the score, as this one's away. Mostert now to return. Now an opening past the 30. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but a very solid return. The Riverhogs offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. You can see he's closing in on a rushing title, the league leader coming into the final two weeks of the season. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. He was trying to fit that one in to Mike Evans. Now it's going to be third down. Considering how this offense has played the first couple of possessions, I'm surprised that one wasn't completed. It seems like that's the first miss of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Continue to build on this momentum because so far they've come out hot in this one. Now, I think there's certain times, Mike, throughout the game that call for a very aggressive style of play. I'm just not quite sure this was one of those situations, but I guess we'll see how it plays out throughout the rest of the game. Here we go, Scott. Right. On first and ten, Fields. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Roman Wilson was the intended target. And it'll bring up second down. Here we go. Throwing again. Fields on second and ten. That's brought in right side by Pickett. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone. Inside the 20. 
He got loose after the grab, and they couldn't bring him down. A gain of 28. Here we go, a first down throw for Fields. It is brought in in the end zone. Roman Wilson. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The River Hogs offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. As we get a look at the league leaders in receiving touchdowns by a running back, he sets the pace here as we get to the latter stages of the season. Now another timeout called by this offense. They have one remaining. Block to stop with 34 seconds to go until the break. We'll come to the line now on second and two. Taking off. That's just great awareness there, Mike. He's looking downfield. He doesn't see anything, but he is locked in to get that first down. He tucks it, becomes a runner, and gets past the marker. They'll look to set up the screen here. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Now the offense will use their third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go until halftime. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Got ready? He'll get up and clock it here, and they're set up to possibly get three before the break. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Now whistles. Blake clock at zero, and that'll cost them. Delay of game. Five. Offense. Still second down. Harrison Butker on now for the field goal. It'll be a 44-yard attempt. Butker's kick is good. And the River Hogs will cut the lead down to four. So we've reached. And instead, why don't we get right back to it as we'll get ready for the third quarter. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here's first and 10. Okay, don't jump. Ready? Fields to throw. That's to the former Ram and Falcon, Van Jefferson. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Here we go. Sit high. Trying left side. Here's Harris. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. You have to wonder if next time does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play. It was clear before side. the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. That is intercepted. And he is going to 
score. A pick six for the touchdown. The defense comes up with the big play, and the pick six changes all the momentum. New leader in this one with that touchdown. Mike, this is one of those plays at the end they're going to look back on and say that play changed the game. Not only do you create the turnover, you take it back the other way, and now you find yourself with the lead here in the second half. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense make their way out to take over once more. This one has been tight so far. A field goal go. separating the two sides as this drive Hurry kicks up. off with first and ten. Lots of space past the 45. And he's out of bounds inside the 30. It's another big play in a game that's had its share. 42 yards. Here we go. Play action now for feet. Oh, the blitz overwhelming the offensive line, and down he goes. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack, and... To see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. He'll take this ahead. It's a pickup of three. That's Chase Young off the edge with the tackle. Third and long. Thank you. Here's Fields. That is brought in at the 10. And he will score. Van Jefferson. Touchdown, Steelers. Boswell adds the extra point, and the Steelers have taken a four point. We have got a game. It's right up the middle. I'm going to take it right up the middle. I'm not going to move any other direction. I'm just going to go straight. Right? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. You keep that in. I didn't get to hit him. Let's run it. Scream, man. It Come works. On, man. It works. Watch. There you go. Go, 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 go. There you go. Tell me that didn't work. Skin head, red head. <laughs> In this case, the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? because they got that screenplay still in the back of their head. A terrific run there, all the way down to the 30-yard line. There's a combination of footwork and vision, his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Right back to him on first down. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. And he just continues to chew off more and more yardage with every single carry. And you can see here with the numbers, Mike, for as strong as he was in the first half, it almost looks like he's gotten even stronger now here in the second. He'll try to hit him with a screen. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. We're off to the fourth quarter here on Christmas Day. Back with more. Ready, ready. They face second down and seven. Ready, ready. They'll run here. He's down inside the 10. A gain of four. Let's go. Big play coming up. This is third down. They'll run. And what's that one thing you hear from coaches all the time, Mike, right? Finish strong. And he's doing just that. His numbers here in this one, they have been terrific. 
but he's going to give you a full four quarters, and I think at this point in the game, he knows there's even more yards to be had. He'll try to run this one in. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. Go. They'll keep it on the ground. Diving for the end zone. But he's not going to get the ball across the plane. They're going to mark him just short. Nobody, oh my gosh, nobody touched him. He was open, look at this, do, 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 well, that do. Guy, see, I bumped into him, yeah, I was like, yeah. hang on. Turn it, turn it, you're not touched, you're not touched, and <laughs> you don't cross the plane. Like dude, nobody, dude, nobody touched me, I'm in the end zone. <laughs> I'm oh in the end zone, God. I didn't, like, give your, your knee touches right there. You couldn't just wait. You couldn't just yeah, make it, it Yeah, where's the touch, dude? Look. Your knee's down. Yeah, where's the ball? I don't know. Your knee touched before that. Did it? Yep. Yeah, we'll turn it. Turn it. So 55 is not the only guy we're seeing. Is my knee Rewind on the ground? It. Rewind it. Right there. Knees on the ground. Look where the ball's at. But nobody touches me. I don't know the rules of Madden. <laughs> His second touchdown of the afternoon. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go. And that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike. And now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Austin now to return this. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now heading back onto the field. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Oh, maybe a free play as he'll look to throw it. That's to the sideline and pulled in by Jefferson. Offside, defense. Still first down. So after the penalty, a break as they now have first Here we go, and five. Fields. A pass taken in by Harris. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age old question is do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too here soft here as they try right. to hold on to this lead here late. They'll try to set up the screen here. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. Here we go. They'll drop to throw. Right side by Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down at the 10. Here we go, Scott. Right. They'll run with Harris. A second effort, and he is in. Najee Harris. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. That is second touchdown of the game. He's up to nine now on the year. Boswell adds the extra point, and the Steelers have taken a four-point advantage. 
So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. This will be returned from the six. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. This is first and 10. Back to throw here to begin the drop. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Here's second down. Here we go, here we go. Back to throw. With the middle of the field, he's got Evans. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Well, Mike, sometimes we try to make NFL football a lot harder than it is. When you have a reliable target like this, and he just continues to get open, and you realize the defense simply can't cover him, there's no reason to look anywhere else. Not only has he put together a tremendous game statistically, but he's just been flat out dominant. They'll look to throw yet again. And that could be the dagger. It's intercepted. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he is going to bring this one back. A DB's dream. A pick six for touchdown. Late in the game, a big turnover goes back the other way. A back-breaking score. Yeah, and at this point in the game, Mike, you're just trying to make something happen. You find yourself trailing. Less than two minutes remain. You're just taking some chances. In this case, the chances backfire, and the other team's able to capitalize and take it all the way back for six. Mostert now to return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors' hey, hey. offense and veteran receiver Mike Evans getting set for this drive. And as this season starts to wind down, we look ahead to NFL honors the week of the Super Bowl. Take a look at some of the candidates to take home the award for the Offensive Player of the Year. And his fine afternoon on the ground continues. The last run going to put him up over 100 yards for this one. Now they'll set up to throw. He'll be hit as he throws, and that one will wind up incomplete could not step into the throw that time it'll bring up second down going up top for Evans that's down the field and intercepted picked off by Mika Fitzpatrick and his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead here we go. Putting the tight end in motion. On the ground, this is Harris. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Dang, I'll take that loss. I thought he was going straight. I threw it, picked off. Ah, cramps. On this December.